I have a paper where I try to solve the value alignment problem for multiple agents. Mm -hmm. And the solution to avoid compromise is to give everyone a personal virtual universe. You can do whatever you want in that world. You could be king, you could be slave, you decide what happens. So it's basically a glorified video game where you get to enjoy yourself and someone else takes care of your needs and the substrate alignment is the only thing we need to solve. We don't have to get 8 billion humans to agree on anything. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so what? why is that not a likely outcome? Why can't AI systems create video games for us to lose ourselves in, each, each with an individual video game? universe. Some people say that's what happened. We're in a simulation. And we're playing that video game. And now we're creating uh, what? Maybe we're creating artificial threats for ourselves to be scared about because fear is really exciting. It allows us to play the video game more, uh, more vigorously. And some people choose to play on a more difficult level with more constraints. Some say, okay, I'm just going to enjoy the game, high privilege level. Absolutely. So, okay, what was that paper on multi-agent Value alignment. Personal the, universes. Personal universes. So, per, <laughs> so that's one of the possible outcomes. But what, what, what in general is the idea of the paper? So it's looking at multiple agents that are human, AI, like a hybrid system where there's humans and AIs, or is it looking at humans or just so this intelligent is, agents? In order to solve value alignment problem, I'm trying to formalize it a little better. Mm -hmm. Usually we're talking about getting AIs to do what we want which is not well defined. Are we talking about creator of a system, owner of that AI, humanity as a whole, but we don't agree on much. There is no universally accepted ethics, morals across cultures, religions. People have individually very different preferences politically and such. So even if we somehow managed all the other aspects of it, programming those fuzzy concepts in, getting AI to follow them closely, we don't agree on what to program in. So my solution was, okay, we don't have to compromise on room temperature. You have your universe, I have mine, whatever you want. And if you like me, you can invite me to visit your universe. We don't have to be independent, but the point is you can be. And virtual reality is getting pretty good. It's going to hit a point where you can't tell the difference. And if you can't tell if it's real or not, well, what's the difference? So basically give up on value alignment, create an entire, it's like the, the multiverse theory. This is create an entire universe for you or your values. You still have to align with that individual. They have to be happy in that simulation. But it's a much easier problem to align with one agent versus 8 billion agents plus animals, aliens. So you convert the multi-agent problem into a single agent problem. I'm trying Basically. to do that, yeah. Okay. Is there any way to... Is there, so, okay, that's giving up on the... <laughs> on the value alignment problem. <laughs> well, is there any way to solve the value alignment problem where there's a bunch of humans, multiple humans, tens of humans, or eight billion humans that have very different set of values? It seems contradictory. I haven't seen anyone explain what it means outside of kind of words which pack a lot, make it good, make it desirable, make it something they don't regret. But how do you specifically formalize those notions? How do you program them in? I haven't seen anyone uh, make progress on that so far. But isn't that the whole optimization journey that we're doing as a human civilization? We're looking at geopolitics. Nations are in a state of anarchy with each other. They start wars, there's conflict, and oftentimes they have a very different views of what is good and and what is evil? Isn't that what we're trying to figure out? Just together, trying to converge towards that? So we're essentially trying to solve the value alignment problem with humans. Right, but the examples you gave, uh, some of them are, for example, two different religions saying, this is our holy site, and we are not willing to compromise it in any way. If you can make two holy sites in virtual worlds, you solve the problem. But if you only have one, it's not divisible, you're kind of stuck there. But what if we want to be at tension with each other? And that through that tension, we understand ourselves and we understand the world. So that, that's the intellectual journey we're on, we're on as a human civilization, is we create intellectual and physical conflict and through that figure stuff out. 
if we go back to that idea of simulation and this is uh, entertainment kind of giving meaning to us, the question is how much suffering is reasonable for a video game? So yeah, I don't mind you know a video game where I get haptic feedback, there is a little bit of shaking, maybe I'm a little scared. I don't want a game where like kids are tortured, literally. That seems unethical, at least by our human standards. Are you suggesting it's possible to remove suffering? if we're looking at human civilization as an optimization problem? So we know there are some humans who, because of a mutation, don't experience physical pain. So at least physical pain can be mutated out, re-engineered out. Suffering in terms of meaning, like you burn the only copy of my book, is a little harder. But even there, you can manipulate your hedonic set point, you can change defaults, you can reset. Problem with that is if you start messing with your reward channel, you start wireheading and uh, end up blissing out uh, a little too much. Well, that's the, that's the question. Would you really want to live in a world where there's no suffering? That's a dark question. But is there some level of suffering that reminds us of what this is all for? I think we need that, but I would change the overall range. So right now it's negative infinity to kind of positive infinity, pain, pleasure axis. I would make it like zero to positive infinity. And being unhappy is like, I'm close to zero. 